Before the excitement of graduation this month, we'd like to take time to reflect on the individual accomplishments of our students. This year saw the beginning of our Student Government Association, which brought student service and achievement to a whole new level for our college. We are excited about the future of the SGA and the growth of even more student organizations. The honors, services, and awards we recognize during this ceremony are more than just items to add to your resume. They tell a story, not only of what you can do in the classroom, but how you are willing to venture and grow beyond expectations. The common thread that weaves through all of your experiences demonstrates your ability to set and achieve goals, particularly goals that stretch expectations. Your leadership capacity and willingness to be part of a team. Your persistence, perseverance, and commitment to seeing a project through. These skills and talents will carry you through whatever comes next in your journey. Whether you're transferring to a four-year program or building your career, I encourage you to continue to take on these challenges and opportunities. Continue to hone the skills and build on the foundation you have established at Eastern Gateway Community College. Thank you for all you have contributed to the college during this time. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Eastern Gateway certainly provided the pathway to opportunity, but you are a leader on the trail. This will be a solid foundation for what comes next that will provide continued opportunities to impact your life and the lives of others. Our next speaker demonstrates this point. Like many of you, our keynote speaker earned an associate degree. She went on to earn an advanced degree and is currently pursuing her doctorate in business administration. This is, of course, on top of her dedication to our students as a business faculty member at our institution, as well as the advisor to our renowned Phi Theta Kappa program. It is my pleasure to introduce Karen Spindler. Education is often compared to a journey. To me, it is like a windy, hilly road. It has ups and downs, takes unexpected turns, and sometimes seems like it will never end. However, what we take in on that road often stays with us forever. People we meet along the way, sights and sounds, and experiences we have. That has certainly been the case for me. I have earned three business degrees and I am working on my fourth. My educational journey um, started at Eastern Gateway when it was Jeff Tech. Um, I came from a family whose father um, at grade seven um, dropped out. Um, my mother went to the 11th grade, um, so I was the first generation college student. Um, but at Jeff Tech, um, I was only there for two weeks. Um, I became uh, a high school graduate, going to high school, and being homeless all within about four months. Um, so my education stopped, but I knew I always wanted to go back to college. 
Um, and there was an opportunity um, in life where I got married. I had two children, um, but unexpected things happened. Life happened. Um, but in 2002, um, I was going through a divorce, and I needed something of an income to take care of my kids. Um, so in 2002, I started back to college, and I was excelling. Um, you know, I was getting those 4.0s um, in classes. Um, and in 2003, I received an invitation to Phi Theta Kappa. And it just happens that today, I am Phi Theta Kappa's advisor um, here at Eastern Gateway. Um, but as a student, to me, this was the world because I personally have achieved something no one else in my family has, and that's going to college and um, becoming an honor student. Um, but my education lasted about two years here at Eastern, um, at that time, um, Jefferson Community College, um, and uh, I found the perfect job. Um, I thought, I don't need college anymore. I have a job that I want to retire from. Um, well, that lasted until 2011. The economy hit um, and the store was closing. Um, so I was without a job. Um, I was without a, high, uh, a college degree and I had to make some changes. So I took the opportunity as a displaced worker in 2011 and I went back to the college. Um, third time's a charm, they say. Um, and this time around, it was Eastern Gateway and my journey didn't stop. Um, in one year, I finished my associates because my courses um, were still transferable. Um, and in 2012, I graduated from Eastern Gateway. So yes, I am an alumnus here. Um, but my journey, um, I thought, end, should end there. Um, and on graduation day in 2012, I can remember clearly, I had one of my professors come up to me and ask me, what was I going to do after graduation? Where was I headed? And my answer to him was, um, I wasn't thinking any further. I mean, I was happy. I was a college graduate. So I got my degree. And within two weeks, I had signed up to go on for my bachelor's. Um, I filled out a scholarship. I was awarded a free ride for my bachelor's. Um, and the journey continued. Um, I wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. I had to continue. Um, so in one year, um, excuse me, in one year I finished my bachelor's and in the eight, next 18 months I finished my master's. And the day that I walked across the stage and received my hood for my master's was life-changing. Um, because the very next day, I started with Eastern Gateway Community College as an adjunct professor. Um, I had the job before I graduated, um, but it didn't start until January. Um, and my life has not been the same since. Here at Eastern Gateway, um, you are family. It doesn't matter what department you are, um, you are a team and success comes with teams. And if it wasn't for you students here, um, we wouldn't be here. Um, and I am so grateful for the opportunity. Um, and my journey is still continuing. I am the program chair here in the business um, management uh, program. And I am a full-time faculty member. I'm the advisor for Phi Theta Kappa, as I stated. But the thing is, is you only limit yourselves if you stop. Every day I tell my students that you have to learn one thing. Learning one thing means that you are still teachable. Um, and my education, as I said, I'm continuing on for my doctoral. Um, so in about a year and a half, I will be happy to be called Dr. Spindler. Um, and it's not out of um, praise, it's because an educational journey gives you everything that you want in life. It's not about the money, it's about the value that you put on yourself. This part of our ceremony honors students who have excelled in their coursework.
cum laude students have earned a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 to 3.75 out of a possible 4.0. Those students have earned, who have earned magna cum laude have earned a 3.75 to 3.89 grade point average. And the highest honor possible, summa cum laude, have earned a GPA of 3.9 to 4.0.
despite balancing the pressure of family, work, and everyday life, so many of our students are able to contribute to a vibrant campus community in Steubenville, Youngstown, and even throughout the country. We wish to recognize those students now who offer their time and talents to student activities. Eastern Gateway Community College has provided me several opportunities to immerse myself in my education and has prepared me for my future. Being involved in student activities has really made me come out of my shell. Currently, I'm the Vice President of the Youngstown Campus for Student Government Association, and I'm also involved with the Student Ambassadors Program. This has given me the opportunity to be very involved in the EGCC community. I have been able to advocate for issues that students may face and solve them, which has given me a sense of empowerment. By listening to EGCC students and standing up for what they believe in, we can make a better campus community. Being involved in student activities has taught me so much, from leadership skills that will help me beyond my time at EGCC, to the importance of creating a sense of community. Not only just for me, but EGCC provides all students the opportunity to be successful. The professors are there to assist students and help them succeed. Through countless hours of studying and hard work, and with the help of my professors, I was able to achieve a 4.0 GPA. My message to you is that you can do anything you put your mind to with hard work and dedication. This journey certainly wasn't easy for me. Growing up, I had a learning disability. My high school GPA was a 2.3. However, I learned to overcome my struggles. I studied hard. I asked for help when I needed it. I balanced school and work. Studying online helped me learn a lot better. And because of the setup of EGCC and the support I had, I was able to achieve my educational goals. This is something I never would have been able to imagine in high school. Being involved in activities, it helped me reach my potential even further. Even through the pandemic, I still felt extremely connected to my peers and my professors. EGCC is like a big family. I always felt supported. If anything, I believe that this challenging time brought everyone together in a way that's never been seen before. EGCC is a prime example of family. I have so many great memories here. In fact, my favorite memory is getting elected SGA Vice President of the Youngstown Campus. For the first time in my life, I felt like a leader. It was an amazing feeling, like success was within my reach. EGCC prepares its students for success even after one attains their degree. From resources to connections, EGCC sets up students for future degrees or the workforce through education and dedication. Eastern Gateway truly cares about its students and I am very lucky to have had this opportunity. I could not have asked for a better college experience. Remember, always reach for the stars. You are destined to do great things, but never forget where you came from. Thank you. I am the advisor for the Phi Theta Kappa chapter Alpha Omicron Nu here at Eastern Gateway Community College. For more than 100 years, the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society has helped from its beginnings to boost more than 3.5 million members in the United States and 10 sovereign nations. This means they have helped millions of high achieving college students reach their full potential. They do not just recognize their academic success. They give them opportunities to develop professional and leadership skills, earn scholarships, explore career paths, and make their world a lot bigger. Today, we are honoring our Eastern Gateway Community College students, not only that excelled academically, but also were leaders as officers and members in Phi Theta Kappa Chapter Alpha Omicron Nu. Because of their outstanding leadership and hard work, Alpha Omicron Nu received accolades of awards this year, as well as our college president at Eastern Gateway, Michael Gagan. One unique characteristic of our, of our chapter is 95% of our members are online students. Our officers and some of our members have traveled to conferences to have fellowship with their fellow captains. A question I get from new members is, how can I become involved? I am an online student from a different state. It is about getting involved, attending meetings, and becoming dedicated to your college and your chapter. Anything is possible. We are proud of our officers that were awarded a Distinguishing Officer Team Award internationally. One of the top 30 chapter officer teams, which 
There are almost 1,300 officer teams internationally through Phi Theta Kappa. They got to walk across the stage in Colorado at the International Conference of Phi Theta Kappa in front of almost 3,000 students, administrators, and peers. I am even prouder to tell you that we were awarded a five-star chapter honor. This is awarded to chapters that complete the five-star action plan, and some of them are the honors in action and college projects. This continues to show you how dedicated our officer team and individual members are to Phi Theta Kappa and to their personal growth as students here at Eastern Gateway. Eastern Gateway Community College, I and all our Alpha Omicron new members are immensely thankful for the dedication and commitment you have to our chapter. Your academic achievements and accomplishments are to be commended and applauded. I thank you, my cubs. Please stay in contact. This mama bear will miss you. Phi Theta Kappa members, your four hallmarks of Phi Theta Kappa stand for leadership, service, fellowship, and scholarship. Excel and know them. Congratulations.
In the spring of 2017, the college piloted a new program for students out of a need for leadership development opportunities. The goal was to help students become well-rounded representatives of the college to their local communities and liaisons to their fellow students. Workshops focused on servant leadership and volunteerism, communication, character and integrity, and other pillars of leadership. The students' personal growth and development as representatives within the college community has not only allowed them to thrive as students here at EGCC, but will foster their continued success in their future endeavors, whether in the classroom after transferring to a four-year institution or in the workplace after attaining an associate's degree. We have continued to offer this experience to students across the country to work with them representing the best of what EGCC has to offer, no matter where they call home. One of the most important pieces of the leadership puzzle is service to others. Students must identify a service project within their communities to fulfill one of the requirements of successfully completing the program. The projects selected by individuals often reflected the personal experiences and values of the ambassadors initiating them. From California to Virginia, Illinois down to Florida, and everywhere in between, Eastern Gateway students made impacts on their communities in a wide number of ways. Local to the Youngstown campus, students spent time assisting with an event to benefit Angels for Animals, where our veterinary tech students learn about animal health care. Elsewhere in Ohio, one ambassador worked with a national sorority chapter to provide coats, warm winter clothes, and toys to children in need during the holiday season, while another created her own Pennies for Paws fundraiser to support her local humane society. Some ambassadors took the opportunity to teach their children about the importance of service to others. In Utah, one took on an Adopt a Highway project with her family. Out on the West Coast, the focus of another ambassador's project allowed her children to help raise money to purchase pantry items and other supplies for the Ronald McDonald House. Another California-based ambassador spent time volunteering with an urban farming organization. Using her passion to bring a smile to those in her community, an ambassador and her family spent time with the Naperville, Illinois Park District hosting family bingo days. Elsewhere in Illinois, an ambassador used her social media skills to help promote her local animal shelter and even ended up adopting a furry friend of her own. As the first College Credit Plus student, one ambassador, who is also completing her high school degree, organized a donation drive for a Steubenville-based humane society. Leaning on her family's own experience, another student leader worked with an orthotics office to put together information packets for children requiring special shoes for accessibility. Students were asked to apply and provide letters of recommendation, as well as a short essay reflecting on this quote from John C. Maxwell. Leaders must be close enough to relate to others, but far enough ahead to motivate them. The students being recognized during this ceremony exemplify the spirit of this quote. They help bridge the gap that can exist between the student body and the faculty, staff, and administration of the college. Their grades, service to their college and community, and accomplishments allow them to stand out as role models for the students following behind them. And I have had the privilege of watching them grow into the leaders they are today. I'm grateful for what they've taught me, and I can't wait to see what the next steps in their journey will be. The following students will receive honors boards with full commendation as EGCC student ambassadors. Last summer, the first Eastern Gateway Community College Student Government Association was launched to provide a voice for the student body. This inaugural group would create the foundation for future representatives, serving students all across the country. They were tasked with setting their own agenda, identifying areas of concern, and making recommendations for how to improve the student experience at EGCC, and they delivered. 
Throughout their terms as officers and senators, this group worked with other members of the college community to provide the student perspective on a variety of topics. They participated in committee meetings on student success, marketing, and on the college's other important strategic initiatives. During this time, they asked hard but thoughtful questions, demonstrating a broad knowledge and experience base that they were bringing to the table as elected delegates of the student body. This group highlighted the rich diversity of backgrounds of EGCC students as a whole. Parents, recent high school graduates, military veterans, union members, students with accessibility requirements, LGBTQ plus students, and those of all different racial, religious, and ethnic backgrounds were represented here. They came together virtually on a regular basis from California, Illinois, Maryland, Ohio, Texas, and other locations to work towards the common cause of creating a brighter future for their fellow students at EGCC. Although their time in office is limited, they have blazed a trail for the group of students who will follow them and take up the torch of service to the college. They've accomplished much to be proud of since the beginning of their terms in June 2021. Today, we recognize the time, dedication, and hard work that these students have put into creating an impact and a legacy at Eastern Gateway. Congratulations to these student government members on their amazing inaugural year representing Eastern Gateway Community College. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. My name is Brittany Crozio and I am the director of the TRIO Scholars Program here at Eastern Gateway Community College. I am so happy to be here to present the 2021-2022 TRIO Scholars graduates. TRIO Scholars is committed to the successful completion of a degree or certificate program and or transfer to a four-year college or university for all of its students by providing quality experiences, activities, and services. Graduates of the TRIO Scholars Program have worked very hard to get to where they are today, as our students are first-generation college students, come from low-income families, or have a documented disability. They have shown incredible grit and determination through all of the changes in the last few years. TRIO Scholars have forged close relationships with our staff members, academic advisors, and counselors through numerous advising sessions, participation in workshops, and involvement on and off campus. Scholars, not only did you succeed in your academics, but you made it through the first step to a better future. Whether you are entering the workforce or going on to complete another degree at a four-year institution, I have no doubt in my mind that you are leaving EGCC with all of the tools you need to succeed for the rest of your life. I am so proud of this group of students for many reasons, but especially because through all of the hardships they may have faced, their average GPA was a 3.4. Many of these students have been on the deans and presidents list multiple times. Congratulations to all graduates on your achievements and best of luck in the future. Our college vision is creating opportunities, changing lives. 
We know the power education can have in making that vision a reality in the lives of our students, their families, and their communities. We hear so often of the single mother who works full time but loves to do her homework alongside her children each night around the kitchen table. We hear about the police officer who earns criminal justice, paralegal, and even business degrees so that they have a well-rounded education that will enhance their service. Or the retired 70-year-old who is finally realizing the dream of an accounting degree. Today, we add your stories as those that inspire us. We know many of you worked hard and earned scholarships to continue to achieve your career goals. Many of you are the first in your family to attend college. Many of you have faced hardships that would have other people reconsider attending college. You've balanced clinicals, assignments, work, and family responsibilities while doing it all to the best of your ability. Even under normal circumstances, this would be impressive, considering you've accomplished it during two of the most disruptive years of our collective lifetime it speaks volumes to your strength, perseverance, talent, and determination. Congratulations, Class of 2022, Student Achievement Ceremony Honorees.